Hi and welcome to our AFC Asian Cup squad builder. Now we're going to be using players from teams that are in this year's Asian Cup which is kicking off this month in Australia. So please leave a like if you do enjoy, it does help out a lot and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. So let's go, in next we have Mark Schwarzer of Australia, he's 6 foot 4 tall, has a 3 star weak foot and 1 star skill and his standout stats are 79 positioning, 78 handling and 75 reflexes. So Schwarzer is the best option for you in net from the Asian Cup teams. Probably the only goalkeeper and he did make some great saves. Only conceded 8 goals in 10 games so great record and he kept 5 clean sheets as well. So he's a solid start in the net as well. Also got a couple of man and match awards as well. Saved us a couple of times in a few matches. On to our defence at left back we have Ju Ho of Korea. He's left footed, 5 foot 9 tall, has medium medium work rates, a 2 star weak foot and he's got 3 star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 84 acceleration, 85 balance, 79 speed, 78 stamina and 76 stand tackle. Now you can pause the video on the stats if you want, if you want a close look at the stats. For any player we're going to be showing you all the in game stats of all the players. So Juho was a great defensive left back with decent pace, he's got his medium medium work rates as well which means he won't be pushing too far up front, he was the more defensive as our two full backs and he did make some good challenges and he also notched one assist as well. Now on to centre back, our first centre back is Jiang Ho of Korea, he's right footed, he's 6 foot 1 tall, has low high work rates, a 4 star weak foot and he's got 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 80 jumping, 78 strength, 77 sprint speed, 77 stamina and 76 acceleration. He also has a dives into tackles and power header traits as well. Now he does have great pace and acceleration for a centre back. Now and he uses it to good effect to chase down the attackers, to get back, make that a vital tackle. Also he is aided, he has got these low high work rates as well. So he's great on defensively and he's got the dives into tackles trait. So he makes a great solid silver centre back. Now his centre back partner is Inform Yoshida of Japan. He's right footed, 6 foot 2 tall, has medium medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 2 star skills. So looking at his in games, his standouts are his 88 jumping, 80 heading, 80 stand tackle, 78 strength and 78 interceptions. Now Nishida was our best defender on our team, performance wise he was a rock at the back, dealing with everything, the likes of a Barbo, informal liner, anything that was thrown at him he did handle and he regularly made important blocks and tackles, interceptions at the back. The best defender on our Asian Cup team and a great inform as well. Highly recommend you try and inform Yoshida. Rounding off our defence at right back we have Uchida of Japan. He's right footed, 5 foot 9 tall, has high medium work rates, a 2 star weak foot and also 2 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 83 stamina, 79 agility, 77 sprint speed, 77 acceleration and 77 crossing. Now Achida is the more attacking fullback of our two, high work weights and he also notched two assists as well and he also managed a goal as well on a breakaway, gets the ball, takes it on and nutmegs the keeper for a decent finish for a right back. Moving on to our midfield, at CDM we have Jedinak of Australia, he's right footed, 6 foot 2 tall, medium high work rates, 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. And looking at his in games, his standouts are his 85 aggression, 84 strength, 83 interceptions, 80 stand tackle and 79 shot power. Now Jedinak makes a great CDM in the middle, he's got his 85 aggression and 83 inceptions, perfect in the middle for breaking up play. He's a no frill CDM who, who does his job well, uh, he did also manage one assist for us as well. At left midfield we have Min Son of Korea. He's left footed, 6 foot tall, has medium low work rates, he's got a 5 star weak foot and he's got 3 star skills. And looking at his in games, his standouts are his 86 sprint speed, 85 acceleration, 83 long shot, 79 dribbling and 78 agility. He does also have the finesse shot, long shot and speed dribble traits as well. So he's got a good pace on the left with Son and he also has great dribbling as well. He can beat multiple defenders at a time on his dribbles and he has a decent shot on him too. Managed to finish off a couple of goals on his runs, bagged three goals all in all and one assist. So a great performance from left midfield. At right midfield we have Robbie Cruiser of Australia. Now he's right footed, 5 foot 10 tall, has high medium work rates, he's got a 2 star weak foot and he's got 4 star skills. 
Looking at his in-games, his standouts are his 85 acceleration, 84 agility, 83 sprint speed, 80 jumping and 78 dribbling. He also has the injury prone and technical dribbler traits. So another wing with great pace and agility on the right. Add to that, he's got his four star skills as well. So great for skilling into positions. Plus he also managed two assists and he notched two goals as well. One lucky rebound off the post to himself. And he did score one vital winner for us in extra time as well. Triple of decent finishes. And at Cam we have informed Kagawa of Japan. He's right footed, 5 foot 7 tall, has high medium work rates, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 94 agility, 92 balance, 90 acceleration, 89 dribbling and 88 short pass. He does also have the flirt and technical dribbler traits as well and he also has the acrobat and dribbler specialities. Now Kagawa is great at Cam, he's got great passing, also he's got his amazing agility and balance as well, all in the 90s. And his dribbling is really great with his 4 star skills as well. We did manage to notch 4 goals with Kagawa playing behind the strikers. We did manage 4 goals with Kagawa behind the strikers and he did also come up with 3 assists from Cam as well. And did also manage 1 man out of the match award for us as well. On to our straight force at left striker we have Kazuki Honda of Japan moved up from Cam. He's left footed, 5 foot 11 tall, he's got medium low work rates, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skills. Looking at his in games, his standouts are his 87 curve, 85 ball control, 83 free kicks, 82 long pass and 82 jumping. He does also have the playmaker and technical dribbler trait as well. So stepping up at a striker, we moved him up to see how we go and he coped fairly well. He does have decent enough stats to cope as a striker. And he did manage 5 goals and 5 assists for our Asian Cup team as well. He was more of a creative force up front rather than a scoring force. But he did put him some good shifts. And he did play well. He wasn't a letdown despite he was only on 7 chem. Our lowest chem of our Asian team. And rounding off the team, his strike partner is Shinji Okazaki of Japan. He's right footed, 5 foot 8 tall, has high high work rates. A 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. And looking at his in game, his standouts are his 90 jumping, 85 balance, 84 agility, 83 stamina and 80 acceleration. He also has the selfish and speed dribbler traits as well. Now, Akazaki was the star man in our team. It is actually the first time I've actually tried Akazaki in the game and I absolutely loved him. He's got great physical stats. He has a great finish on him as well. And he was involved in absolutely almost every attacking move we did in our team. He also bagged eight goals. So he's top scorer in our Asian Cup team. Also managed four assists as well. And got five man of the match awards. So was easily our best performer in the team. Great little hidden gem of a striker. First, as I say, first time we've used him. I'll recommend you go out and try it. Okazaki is in the Bundesliga as well, so it can fit into some teams easily. So we also like to show you our subs bench as well. So on our subs bench, we've got some players who we couldn't quite get in the team chemistry-wise. So our bench is Kawashima, Al Shamrani, Kiyotaki, Cahill, Kim Shunwook, Nagatomo, and Miyaichi. So we always like to show you as much information as we can in our squad builders, also our reviews as well. So we've got a stat breakdown now of our Asian Cup team. So in 10 games, we won 9, only lost 1. So it was really dominant. I was actually surprised how well we actually did with it. We scored 26 goals, conceded 8. Top scorer was Akazaki with 8 goals. Most assists was Honda with 5. And all the stat averages for the team are on the right hand side there with, overall, with an overall as well. So we're just going to leave you with a squad rundown of the whole squad, all appearances, goals, etc. So hopefully you did enjoy the squad builder. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We do try and put as much effort as we can, making them as informative, showing you as much information as we can. So please leave a like if you did enjoy and share it around. It does help a lot. And subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Loads more in-depth squad builds and reviews coming up and more to check out on the channel. So thanks a lot for watching lads, cheers lads, peace.